this short video, I'm just going to explain to you what a CT calcium score is and why you use them and um, what information it gives us. So first of all, as cardiologists, what we try and do when we see you in our surgery is we try and predict your risk of cardiovascular disease. We try and decide whether you're low risk, medium risk, high risk, or very high risk. And based on your risk level, we can then decide what treatments you need to prevent heart attack and stroke. And our usual way of calculating risk is by using um, a risk calculator, which puts in information about you with things like cholesterol and blood pressure, and family history, and smoking history, and then works out your risk of future um, heart attack and stroke. However, there is other ways to help improve our risk uh, stratification. And one of them is a CT calcium score. Basically, this is a super simple and quick CT scan of the heart. There's no injections, there's no contrast, and all it does is it looks for the calcium levels in your heart arteries. And what we know from big populations of people is that the more calcium you have in your arteries, the higher your risk of a heart attack. And if you have very low levels of calcium in your arteries, the much lower risk of a heart attack. So if you have a CT calcium score, and you have a calcium score of zero, you're very unlikely to have significant coronary artery disease and actually very low risk of having a um, heart attack for the next three to five years. But if you've got much higher levels of calcium, I can say that you actually have got coronary artery disease already. And actually, you're probably at higher risk of cardiovascular disease. So basically, what it does is it allows you to see the disease in your heart arteries. It doesn't tell you how severe it is. It doesn't tell you how many blockages you've got. All it does is it shows little specks of calcium in the arteries. And the only reason you see calcium in the arteries is if it's if they're left in the deposits of kind of fatty plaques. So the amount of calcium you've got is a good representation as to the amount of baseline coronary artery disease you've got. So um, in summary, it's a super simple test that allows us to help assess your risk of future heart attacks.